नमस्कार नमस्कार दर्शकों दर्शकों हम आज SRCC के लॉन में बैठे हैं या और एक अच्छी सी कन्वर्सेशन करने वेलकम बैक टू एपिसोड नंबर सिक्स ऑफ द ऑडकास्ट अ कलेक्शन ऑफ केयरफुली क्यूरेटेड कॉन्वर्सेशन टुडे आई हैव विद मी नियति आनंद वन ऑफ माय गुड फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम कॉलेज एंड वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पीपल आई मेट एट एस आर सी एंड टुडे वी आर इन द एस आर सी सी स्पोर्ट्स कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड वी गोन हैव एन इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्वर्सेशन वाइल दिस हैपन साइड बाई साइड यू कैन हेयर दैन बट very interesting background we are sitting at yeah a lot of people it's a, lot a of people. nice it's a winter yeah time to just sit down sun basking uh-huh. in the lawn enjoy so neeti thank you for coming it's a pleasure Welcome, to Sean. have you on board as a guest likewise thank you for having me yeah. darshako darshako <laughs> <laughs> so could you like tell us about yourself as any interviewer asked in the beginning dude okay i wasn't prepared for this let me okay get the notes real quick yeah <laughs> i do want a 30 second introduction or <laughs> so inside joke we'll, we'll talk about this so hi everyone i am neeti anand um i'm in my final year third year doing bcom honors from agatya college frcc shri ram college of commerce delhi university <laughs> Yeah and I met Sean in the beginning of on the first day I ever visited SRCC mm-hmm. so we go way back but yeah. then we did not talk yeah. we did not know about we didn't each know other, about each other. existence and we but, reunited eventually yeah, at the end the yeah and it's been a good lovely 3 years at SRCC and I'm really sad that it's ending mm-hmm. I've done quite a few things and really enjoyed the experience yeah I, I think yeah So Neeti is one of the few people who has the highest CGPA in college. <laughs> She's extremely smart, school topper, everything. I mean, everyone at SR is a school yeah. topper. So she has been placed at Fisher Jordan, right? Yes, that's true. So Neeti, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. It's a, it's a pleasure having you here. Right. Yeah. And it's coming for you. I will learn from your knowledge and soak in as much as yeah. I can. Yeah. Yeah, but so that I can achieve what you have done. Oh my god. At such a young age. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. But <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> so, Neeti, you were organizational director at Enactus SRCC, right? Yes, and so, project director yeah. of Amal. Huh. Could you tell us about Enactus because that's been that was one of my societies I wanted to get in for the longest time in SRCC and I did not. So, It's a, it's you, a you did amazingly well for yourself Thank at you. Comsoc. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Inactus, it's a social entrepreneurship society. Mm. I have always been really interested in social entrepreneurship and social work in general. Mm. I did social work, and I really like going on visits, meeting people in the rural areas, and and I had a lot of fun. So I genuinely just wanted to continue that in college. Mm. And I got to know about Inactus and what it does. I really loved what the work was, and of course I applied and tried getting in. like a lot of people do i think because of the work that we have done throughout the years and there's there's a great reputation about an actress in general in our college so everyone and everywhere else in the world hopefully yes <laughs> <laughs> that is what i think uh, so even within the actress circuit i think we've done well throughout the years so that's why based of our projects and the work we've done it's it has that reputation and everyone really wants to be a part of that so personally i just really wanted to join that and i applied and somehow got in then for the first year you work on like every project for us we worked on four different projects in various fields you know one is about getting water to the people and setting up water plants one is about solving the problem of stubble burning one is about cigarette butts and the plastic in that so everything through that great journey you work on every single thing it's social work but at the same time it's entrepreneurship you go into the business side of things mm. managing the finances and everything that's there yeah. how to run a business essentially in a short mm. way that's also helpful to the society mm. and then in the second year you take up a position of responsibility in the executive board to take the projects forward and what vision you have to even further the impact i got to be the director of project amal which i really love and worked on during my first year passionately and then mm. the organizational development director Yeah. So it's been a really fun journey, and in the third year, we're advisory board members. 
<laughs> just advise and look over our juniors. Speaking of that, your juniors are doing pretty well, I must say. Yes, a recently a reel of ours got viral on Instagram and it got like four or five million views. So <laughs> shout out to Lactus. <laughs> you can check out C to B. Yeah, I can just go on uh, hmm. about Enactus for hours and hours, yeah. but do you want something specific sure. or? I one of my f- earliest memories of my Enactus interview was they asked, uh, like, how many hours are you willing to give to the society? And at that time, I thought I have to balance academics, it's college, new thing. So I said three or four, and they like we asked minimum eight, and it was like <laughs> eight. <laughs> what is life then? And then I, I think that <laughs> that might be a reason, you know. <laughs> but, I, yeah. So. Essentially, it's definitely a lot of work, hmm. and that is for a lot of societies too. Particularly for us, it just heightens because there are real people and real lives impact that I've personally experienced. You know, if okay. the plant is not working in a rural area, particularly hmm. one of the slums that we have established, we actually get so many calls from the women entrepreneurs, the didis that we have there that the plant is not working. There's a queue of forty people standing in front of us. So please come down fast and just get this done quickly. So we call the technician. So it's actually such real world impact that people are dependent. So that's why it heightens that you have to be available all the time. And talking about the eight hour thing, I mean definitely we've had days where we have worked eight hours, less than that, and more than that, of course. And I think that goes for you too in yeah. the commerce society. That's that's college life in a nutshell. That you know you're up till five a.m. doing meetings and work. So that's definitely there, but I think it's just suggestive in like how much work you do that your capacity and your efficiency that depends. So mm. it's just suggestive, but yeah, we do give a lot of hours, and it's not we don't we just don't measure it in number of hours, mm. but rather this is the work and this is something that we genuinely want to do. It's yeah. like the whole day we are for an actors, we are there, mm. so we just do it, and we love doing that. It's a bond. <laughs> so the project you were heading, Amal, right? So wh- where was Amal based and like did you have to actually visit the site frequently so Yep So Amal is a project that solved the problem of stubble burning wherein we converted the stubble uh, into biomass briquettes or biomass pellets so they are a renewable source of energy and they can replace like coal and all these industries So to solve the problem it since it happens mostly in the northern side we visited a lot of places a lot of areas to see what is the suitable area and we wanted it close to delhi and near yeah. delhi but since it's a very capital ex- uh, extensive project we could not have it just like in delhi nearby so we were looking in the outskirts and near areas like haryana jhajjar and all these places where we could easily travel to and fro rather than punjab where it's the essential root cause of the problem but traveling there wasn't just as easy and um, you know it wasn't that uh, convenient so we just decided to we visited ludhiana in punjab and then um, few other places nearby jhajjar in haryana and yeah a lot of outskirts areas okla industrial area and lot of visits after mm. knowing what the problem is where it lies mm. and then sort of connecting with people and getting everything mm. here so how do you do you have someone in charge of the project who's there 24/7 that maintains it when you guys are not there no it's not there so fully like the members who are there in your first year when you join of course there are seniors in your second year who help you the executive board and then there's the advisory board but there's just not one person who is in charge like yeah. we completely work on them by ourselves even in the second year it's all the decisions real money decisions that we have to take if you're talking like project wise specifically of course since it it would be in haryana for example in jhajjar so we wouldn't be there physically all the time then we have like maybe a supervisor who's looking after the day to day operations okay. and then other people who are working just there so hmm. yeah that's that's there even so that's also part like creating employment in our azwa okay. plants uh, so we have like didi social entrepreneurs who just work there okay. so yeah, in that way they're there so are your projects are they seasonal in terms of the employment they generate or do they work 24/7 throughout the year um no so they are not seasonal and they work 24/7 and throughout the year that is the aim because we want as much impact as possible and as we we try to solve problems that affect everyone and in a way that you know it's very sustainable that's mm. after working on a project for some time for 
a few years then we try to sustain it yeah. that we actually give it back to like the people then they run it completely by themselves okay. for specifically amal i would say it was seasonal in the sense that the stubble burning parali jalne ka problem so that is specific during october november that's mm-hmm. when it happens so then you know we get the supply in that sense but of course like the production and everything happens throughout the year yeah that's pretty cool you know having projects like just straight out of school you graduate and you're yeah. managing projects that actually impact so many people that's yeah. a pretty cool thing to be part of yes it, it was very fun and it's very nice yeah. you getting to experience is definitely i think that's that's one thing about src even you'd agree like we did not know about the real world yeah. and everything like it just made us very ambitious and see oh we can even do this like you just yeah. first year into college and you're handling so many things that just i could never imagine that when i was a yeah. high school dude that i'll be getting to do this yeah. So that just builds a confidence that now I have, like you know, maybe entrepreneurship is something I can look into. What about you, like? Entrepreneurship is something I'd love to try, but hopefully after I fulfill my parents' dream, ki <laughs> pehle hamara beta, beta naakri kare. <laughs> Every yeah. every parent stream. Then MBA करेगा. Yeah, पढ़ाई. चलो उसके बाद देखते हैं. Yeah, even they're like पढ़ाई पहले. Uh-huh. You know, you should complete it in one go and then. work have we a love job we love indian parents and our parents yes yeah. we do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh one more thing like i noticed in actus has a lot of like global competitions that you went on yep. so could you tell me about that because i remember seeing your stories and it was like <laughs> it was so cool yes i i became an influencer for a <laughs> short time <laughs> love that <laughs> so basically um in actus has um, a competition like a global competition um amongst so in actus basically has different chapters in a lot of colleges okay. and amongst countries yeah. so it's um, in actus srcc in actus hindu in actus xyz like all these colleges have their own in actus and then there's an in actus india too so the in actus india kind of not heads but in a way like you know um it's the organization and then if we have like a, it's it's a community you can yeah. say they just um are there um and we are under them in a way um under in actus of course so but not like any of the operations or anything of that sort is affected or you know handled by them um for so one of them is a national competition wherein then the in actus india organizes a national competition so out of all the in actuses in the country there's one in actus that get selected and they have a bunch of different competitions so of course it's a very community based thing but then they have competition so that you know everyone has that spirit and um in different categories they look for it's a new project it's a old project what is it um and we have to prepare this whole video presentation and very interesting su- stuff and um it's a very big thing in our community in actors yeah. community i would say and then in the nationals once you're there then there's an actors india in actors brazil in actors canada and actors usa so then all of them combined of course there's in actors just uh, the global organization so then if you like you're the in actors india team after the national competition you go on for the international competition to represent your country and amongst that then ultimately there's one in actors teams team that wins yeah and why was the competition that happened for in our year very sad story it was supposed to be held in puerto rico okay but we could not get the visa in time like mm. no one from india could get the visa only a few people who already had us visas could go which were very very few but most of like none of us could go and we had to then we decided that we still want you know the spirit of coming together and not have it online as it happened during covid so we went to a hotel in gungaon like in actus um they every team went there and th- from there uh, we had a lot of fun stuff Fi- like all, of course the competition then happened online we gave our presentations online and mm. everything but yeah i mean uh, we had fun sessions pool sessions uh community bonding as you can say team bonding activities uh ethnic nights and everything so for two three days somewhere around that we just went there um and yeah rather than puerto rico gulgaon was our puerto rico temporarily <laughs> yeah <laughs> it was that fun there that was yeah. cool so i'm guessing even with an actress you must have had a lot of traveling to do to all the projects and stuff right yeah. so where all of you been in india in general um <laughs> I have been to from an actress I've been to um 
आगरा एंड लुधियाना एंड आई थिंक दैट्स इट एक्चुअली आई आई ऑलमोस्ट मिस ऑन गोइंग टू बैंगलोर एंड अहमदाबाद बिकॉज सम ऑफ दी अदर टीम मेम्बर्स यू नो वो आर नॉट विजिटेड दे कुड गो एंड देन दैट वॉज दैट वॉज वेरी सैड आई नो लाइक people who went to bangalore going to bangalore is, a, is like a different yeah it's a different all together in yeah hmm. so i really wanted to go but that did not happen but people have went to jaipur also and then it, it was very fun i know hmm. a lot of stories yeah. in ahmedabad what what happened on visits okay okay <laughs> i hope it's work related <laughs> oh. <laughs> we don't okay. we don't tell that hopefully i don't know guys so what's your best travel story from in general in general i would say um so very very interesting and a little um scary story time i was visiting a place one time guys and just to context i kind of met a murderer there <laughs> Very casually, you know, just walking and like, "Hi, I'm a murderer." So I'll tell you. I hope there's no uh, legal uh, people watching who's like, "Who's this murderer? <laughs> why do Why do I have connections to murderers? I don't. I promise." So um, I was visiting this place, and um, a few of my friends we were going, and then we met this person. Hmm. um we were visiting for some work related thing and just going on and having a discussion so we met this guy and he was like um so he was very knowledgeable in his own field and we just wanted to know uh, more about him so we just asked could we connect later on you know and ask some things if he have any doubts or anything very casual so he's just like yeah sure but i'm just not sure if you know i'll be here so like Okay, like we can just connect over a call. That's not necessary. For no, he's like I'm just in Delhi because of a Supreme Court case, um, and I may not, may be in jail, may not be in jail. So if I'm not, I'll pick up your call. That's great. So I don't know where I'll be in the six months. And um, yeah, I just like uh, we got taken aback, and he's like, um, someone did something to my daughter, and something happened. So I just killed the guy randomly, <laughs> and we were just. there um okay and then he's like you would have done the same right and my friend and i he was just he was like standing like this and i'm like just say yes and run back i don't know he was from a he was from chandigarh and he's like of course no one wants to do business with a naxalite because you know they can just take a knife and um kill you so he actually did this and i was like bro please mujhe jaane do i'm not done anything i was just open so he was like please let Let us run, and we run back. So, <laughs> traveling uh, in college is a good experience yeah. in general. Yeah, we learn a lot and see a lot of things. Yeah, even traveling to places like MKT and like nearby areas, mm. it's super fun. I know some of these phone got stolen. I know so many people's phones. Just from the entrance gate of the college, like that is so weird. You just leave and you're like. Talking or just going and then you just take your phone. So my dad was actually in SRCC and oh. my mom was in KMC. So one of the first things they told me when I before I joined college, do not leave anything <laughs> unattended. Yeah. It may or may not get stolen. Helpful advice, yeah. guys. Very helpful. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah. yeah. No, but similar to your murder story, murder or story, <laughs> during one of the group discussions I took for Comsoc, hmm. the dis- the GD topic was are jails meant for rehabilitation or punishment? Ooh. Okay. So this junior responds. She's given defending an argument. She's like, you know, I have this really new perspective to the conversation. So yeah. One of my relatives, you know, he was accused of murdering his wife, and I believe that he is he's innocent or he might be guilty I don't remember what happened and I think jails should not up should be for rehabilit- rehabilitation like they shouldn't be punishment and then everyone in the GD is like huh <laughs> what the <laughs> woman you yeah, just went <laughs> and we were all so shocked we were like okay that's cool yeah. well that was yeah. mad yeah. and because of that reason we shortlisted <laughs> <laughs> the things we do yeah. oh my god if she's willing to she comes from a rich background of people you know so if we need some work done yeah we know uh, you know whom to contact yeah she I might be useful do I, do i still have the contact of that murderer i'm not sure <laughs> i don't know guys don't come at me you can you can contact sean he has yeah 
<laughs> I don't remember if we what happened to her though. I don't remember if she's still in the society. Maybe. 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 maybe yeah. <laughs> It'll so, be interesting though. <laughs> those were some pretty good stories, <laughs> honestly. So, yeah. <laughs> amongst those stories, Neeti was during placement season. Neeti got shortlisted for. So we have MBBs, right? But McKinsey, Bain, BCG. Unfortunately, Bain did not hire this time. And Neeti got shortlisted for McKinsey, BCG, and Carney. Yes. So how was that experience? Like she was up amongst six in McKinsey to get shortlisted, ten yeah. in BCG, twenty in Carney. So yeah. how was that for you? Definitely amazing. I mean, in a short. in a short word very amazing and i felt really really happy and elated and i still do of course um, this year um, like as you mentioned only six people were shortlisted so being amongst that out of like 800 people in our college it was really something that i was not expecting and i was very grateful when it happened and yeah i mean getting even shortlisted for these companies is a yeah. huge thing and because of the work and the prestige and everything that they've done so it, it, it was a lovely experience consulting is like the holy grail in sorcery yeah that's true everyone wants it i feel that's true i mean it's it's like um you you just walk in and everybody like the third years are super focused on getting into consulting and that thing yeah. so it's just been that carry on phenomena mm-hmm. but i mean of course apart from that it has its own reasons too since it's very own nature it gives you the wide variety and option to work into different fields across and you can just know what field to work because yeah. being from become honors we don't have a specialization in a wow this wind is amazing a beautiful today <laughs> yeah so we don't have a lot of expertise in just one field and we don't know what to do in our f- hmm. future still don't do i mean <laughs> but <laughs> it's still better knowing that you know we have something and we'll work on so many things and then we can decide you know what what is something that we really want if you know that already that's yeah. great but if you don't then i think consulting is a really good option and of course the travel everything travel as yeah. we discuss it's travel guys yeah. um so it it comes with that too so you get to learn a lot so yeah. i mean it has a reason for it but then yeah. a lot of people just go into it um just by seeing everyone else and actually that works for people that mm. just going into it blindly that also works but then for some it doesn't and that's okay too yeah so how was before that e- even before the interviews happen there's a lot of prior preparation yeah. that goes into it a lot of gifts that you receive <laughs> so can you comment on that neeti definitely so after the short lesson like yeah, between after the short yeah list okay and before the interview so uh, during that time once the the short list is declared and then the interview so it's like a 3 4 week time wherein we can just um they they allot you like buddies hmm. and then they help you solve your cases and practice with them any doubts you have with the firm again a brilliant experience you know even just hmm. connecting with people uh, from the firm who are quite senior to us and asking them questions that we have and you know them answering uh, about their experiences it's just a brilliant experience yeah. connecting with such bright minds and again that is experience i think i'll take of course um, those people and everything but apart from that practicing to the fun stuff during the 20 days it it was actually hectic at a point because of course we had college attendance hmm. um, to maintain and then we had one thing or the other happening so um usually they take you out to a dinner all the shortlisted people which is very fun like it's yeah. they send a car and you, you know you get to meet and talk to the partners there yeah sure. exactly apart from going to like five star hotels and places like this you actually uh, connect and learn with the partners and hearing about their journeys which is so amazing even even in our carney um, yeah. you know how they arrange even in mckinsey bcg like every place we could just see that it, even for them at partners it wasn't a linear path ever yeah. and hearing that, that from them it's just very reassuring in a different way that okay everyone at 20 years old is clueless and then they do really well for themselves so just hoping that for us yeah. um but it was really good just going on these dinners interacting with people um, everything i think your communication skills whatever you're learning mm. everything is super helpful and of course they give you a bunch of goodies yeah. which is super fun um and re- it, it makes you feel very very special um 
yeah. and then it still works right yeah it's still okay works. <laughs> and then um uh, they also have like a case workshop wherein they teach you really good stuff about case solving problem yeah. solving so that's really really helpful mm. uh, when you're there and they put a lot of thought into like from our perspective they tell us so many things it's it's it was a great mm. 20 days and then of course you have to prep on your own but these things really do help and yeah. you know calm your mind and when you're mm. interacting with people who are there so it was super fun so amongst the things that bcg and carney gave i remember i got a mug with my name no it was the coffee mug yeah bcg logo i got a diary with my name written on it which is pretty yeah. cool they got a lot of biscuits yeah. food bottles a coffee bottle i remember writing notepad something yeah. of that sort then i also got like a laptop stand you know okay. like that yeah. thing you keep your laptop on while working that was good did i get a keychain no i don't think so okay. not a keychain but i got a, another mug <laughs> so yeah the bo- i i think yeah i still yeah. use that a diaries uh what else yeah i i there was this thing like with our names i don't know it was like a passport holder i oh, got yeah, a passport yeah, yeah. holder that thing uh, from carney right? yeah. yeah very nice my favorite <laughs> visit was to be the bcg office i really love that office that was so cool it was their office is very beautiful i mean yeah. i think all three of them visiting them they yeah. really showed their personality too like as yeah. offices yeah. and we was just awestruck ki yaar the bcg was like more fun and relaxed like i don't know about how, did you guys visit the mckinsey office or yeah i think mac too i i can't actually choose because both yeah. of them had very different like experience in a way um because when we were visiting the mckinsey office there was some cultural like recreational activity happening okay. and there were so many dogs everyone had to bring their dogs oh. it was a dog pet yoga kind of thing happening and we had so much fun just interacting with the dogs and seeing around the office and yeah so i mean very fun like the workshop even bcg their office is so beautiful dude like yeah. it was very good uh, they have a secret room which opens up into where they did the case workshop they have Wait. like a basketball net a pool table Dude, remember i don't remember that what where we did the case workshop huh? oh okay okay got it got it that oh. there's astroturf ground oh it's yeah guys very... it's it's like a modern architect yeah. um it's so beautiful like the structure it's like not even there were seats but then there's like uh something some very interesting hmm. architecture the, the yeah i remember the table and then amazing food yeah the the kitchen the pantry everything i got i think i drank the most expensive water ever there that <laughs> black water and i was like what is this i'll just take this <laughs> super fun yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. we we drank coffee too mm-hmm. we ordered a coffee and then everyone was uh, waiting and we were like now what do we do we just <laughs> drank the coffee but compared to last year they didn't short i mean take as many people yeah so last year they were taking about 5 per company yeah this time they took one or two one person yeah, one, one person, person each each so last year i think around 14 15 people were there but mm. this time only two people yeah. they got in so it was that tough. was sad. but you made it till the final round with only two people yeah and <laughs> that even like in my carney experience like I made it to the final round with six people, and then yeah. it's just like it breaks your heart yeah, so much. Yeah, it's just that one thing. Yeah. It's like you're not shortlisted is a different mm. thing, or you know you get eliminated early, early on. But just getting to the final round, I think it's always heartbreaking, yeah. and especially when it's a firm like wow, yeah. <laughs> like uh, McKinsey, BCG, Carney, and so it was it was very hard, and I was of mm. course very sad. Yeah. but i mean i'm happy that i got in till the top 2 yeah. and yeah if they would have taken one more person yeah. i might have been that so i'm just like I, i did pretty yeah. well for myself so that's that's okay i don't think about that now I'll just apply another time they'll surely do <laughs> it i hope so yeah. but after that you got placed in fisher jordan which is a ib company right no it's a consulting oh, company it's again. a consulting okay yep so eventually you came yeah, you got, got got into consulting <laughs> yeah i mean likewise their process was also really good and uh, within that i think a few finance companies did also come hmm. morgan stanley blackstone their experiences were also really amazing did yeah. not get, go ahead i mean wasn't i did not also prep for like finance as such uh, by that time okay 
but um, other than that like for fisher jordan also consulting company hmm. it's it's in bombay so we nice i'll be eating vada pavs <laughs> and on the marine drive and i'll send you photos sean sure <laughs> but yeah it was you become your influencer era again <laughs> yes shout out to me <laughs> yeah is it getting to na nah, uh, academic and like so so much placement and work just like before we end that topic yeah. what's some advice you could give someone when they're entering the placement season in SRCC um i i need that advice also <laughs> so <laughs> no you don't dude i mean your case from skills were amazing i know we did a case thank before you. the thank, thank you the, thank you uh, before the bc no after bcg before carney somewhere yeah, we did one case and i was like amazed by this guy's skills he's very very smart <laughs> shukriya darshak <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i mean one advice i honestly i would say go in with a cool and calm mind and don't get influenced by other people or people around you definitely do take advice from your seniors but i think ha- being in the right mindset does play a lot because mm. it's just 20 minute interview 30 minute interview 15 minute conversation that you're having with the person like so then it's really difficult to gauge what that per- who that person is even as an interviewer if i'm doing that so it's really important that you're really cool calm and relaxed mm. at that moment of time and you actually let your personality shine through mm. and overall in general to like for uh, case interviews like consulting you do case prep and everything if you're not wow if you're not in the right mindset it won't happen and i think somewhere around that that also happened with me i got like really stressed and then you know what would happen there's so much to do so much to mm. um cover so i think that does not help okay. you just have to be really calm and like focus on yourself yeah. not focus on other people and everything there's so much going on around and just do your best don't work don't ever think about the package or how much money yeah, you're exactly. going to get because that doesn't matter i think we focus a lot on the end result yeah. rather than the process and i know it's difficult to say like hmm. enjoy that if that is a thing ever yeah. but it's it's good if you just try to take one day at a small bit and hmm. just not think i think that's the best advice like just never think about the result and that you are even in there mm. just think that this is the work i have to do today and i'll just do that yeah. and forget even you're part of a process or anything yeah that way like having being able to get rid of those thoughts and yeah. just yeah and then ultimately even if you don't get it yeah. you'll be okay with it because you never had it you never had it in your mind that you know i'll get this and we always think that everyone because everyone's doing it if you don't get it now what am i going to be where am i going to be yeah i do for real it's like oh my god like our career tra- trajectory is completely okay. different now yeah. we've been um you know um it will be so far behind yeah. and i think that's like i don't know very sr cc thing or just everyone being there's a lot of wind mm-hmm. guys <laughs> just a lot of toppers uh, in a <laughs> single place you just put them in a room i think they'll all just die of <laughs> inferiority complex everyone's like even if a person is not doing anything for yeah. example i just go in and i pick up the phone you'll be like oh my god i should pick up my phone too why am i not doing that <laughs> so it's just a cycle that goes on even there's no purpose in me picking up my phone right now but that happens yeah. so yeah we we are not set behind we are on the right path we'll yeah. we'll figure it out that's mm. i think that's the best thing If don't don't take yourself too seriously, honestly. Yeah. That that works. Hopefully. <laughs> so, like before you came into SRCC, how was your school experience? Were you like always the like the head girl, smartest person in school? Used to bully the juniors, make wow. them clean your shoes. Dude, um, I wish. I think uh, Sean, you need to answer that question. <laughs> given given the instances that you've just mentioned. getting your shoes clean from juniors we'll get to that but i i actually was a very studious student uh, okay. in school i'm not going to lie i was very dedicated towards my studies yeah. and again i just you know think of it that way i just study like okay i have to do this chalo bas padho khatam i did not pay a lot of attention to other things i i was the head girl <laughs> <laughs> so i was right out one thing <laughs> yeah we never discussed about this even um, good guess but so you could have i mean even if you didn't you could have what 
got paid to clean your shoes. I could have. That's true. But it was online, so it was less okay. difficult to harass juniors. Call them juniors. <laughs> yeah. to your house. house. Come to my house and clean my shoes. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, I was a studious kid. I was, I was, I was that studious. You know, I was mm. sitting in the front bench kind of studious, which is bad guys. I mean. <laughs> I mean, it's okay, but then I was like, what am I doing? Um, but it was very fun, I would say. School memories, traveling back in bus together. Like, I think my bus experience has been okay. really good. It's like us five, six people since nursery till like 12. We just traveled in the same bus always. And we did really crazy stuff. We've played like full fledged games, dude, in the bus. Like, okay. uh, we are hi- playing hide and seek in the bus. <laughs> in a bus. <laughs> we in a moving vehicle. One time we were traveling, like, it was a highway in the middle, and there's like cars and everything. You know how a highway works, of course. <laughs> One of my friends, so she was eating oranges, and uh, I danced, um, you know. So we had a pen drive with all the songs and everything. So she just threw, like, you know, the like uh, just like the patla tha, huh. fibers yeah. you know outside um, and after she threw it and she just normally after two seconds she's like oh my god I threw my pen drive outside of the bus <laughs> and we're like what <laughs> and then we're going running to the driver bhaiya bus roko bus roko pen drive ko gai hai and then, like instead of the rapper she threw the pen drive only and then one of the seniors he stopped on the cars and he was a highway dude, mm-hmm. cars are coming and then he's going on the street and finding a freaking pen drive just this small. It was, it was hilarious and then, I mean in that sense we did bully juniors in a way like we used to play some songs like yeah. uh, our songs and just scream. Um, <laughs> so I think they were pretty annoyed yeah. but we were, we were good seniors and then we did fun things like, you know, I was not a part of this guys. But some of my friends uh, from the bus, sometimes when it's raining or like, you know, the windows are open, later on they were closed, like the bus has changed. But when they were open, they, they used to scream at random strangers, um, Un- Uncle, aapki chappal nahi hai. Aapke baal ur gai. Like, you know, just the most random of things. Kela pada hai aapke nije. But just like weirdest of things ever. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, school, school was fun. Coming back to weird, yeah. Travel stories again. It was a great experience, I think, but very different from college. You're really in a shell in, when you're in school. Yeah. But yeah, I think. What, my favorite. I mean, one yeah, of my you favorite tell what school experiences. How many juniors did you? <laughs> <laughs> Coming to like bus rides. So whenever we used to, I was part of the school football team and basketball oh. team at one point of time, and. When we used to come back after like a tournament or anything in a different school, the wise used to be at the top, the highest row. Um, Everyone would just be screaming, yeah. singing, relaxing. Like, that was so fun. Dancing, yeah. the picnic, everything. It's like a picnic yeah. mood on. I, I experienced similar, not not a lot for dance, but yeah, even traveling with them and everything. Mm. It was it was a fun experience. But I did, just to clarify, I did not bully any juniors. I am very respectful of people, wink, wink. my subordinates or people who might look after me. Just imagine what he's done to his Comstock juniors. Oh my God, Sean. Oh, that, that I have a good story. <laughs> okay. So uh, at around 1 or 2 a.m. we were having this meeting and we would completely lost our minds. Okay? okay. I feel after like 1.30 or 2 a.m. Yeah. when you have a meeting, I don't Crazy know. Crazy shit it, happens. Then. Nobody knows what happens <laughs> or what you're saying. Okay. So we decided we used to have buddy groups yeah. and we found this junior who was very uh, susceptible to influence Okay. <laughs> and we decided to like peer pressure them into singing a song. Oh. So wow. we made her sing, I think it was Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. The <laughs> best song ever guys. <laughs> and she, she kept like sending voice notes over singing, <laughs> singing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and we threatened that we'd, we'd kick her out of the society. <laughs> That is horrible to do to someone. Yeah. That is that is yeah. bad, Sean. But she's not part of the cabinet, so, so it worked out. It right. worked out. Send twinkle twinkle stars there. Yeah. If you if you if your seniors make your seniors you think, happy, you know. Yeah, that's true. But work, I mean. Oh yeah. You can't twinkle twinkle your way into the yeah. cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. That's fun. Fun. I think society time is actually fun. a lot of fun for any person, you know, SR person I talk to who's in like the 
third year whatever like they go back to their society memories yeah. that's a very core thing Kyunki for i nahi hoti hai aur hum class nahi attend karte the pehle ab that's a different thing we're very studious yeah. and committed and we have a good hmm. attendance pledge that you pledge. Att- attend all classes above 75 or below i have above 75 oh my god yeah see <laughs> no but it was very fun yeah i mean we did skip some classes just a few not for not the greater much good. for the greater good to help people and yeah. build our series <laughs> but also yes to help people yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hmm. what else I don't know man. I so we planned this segment. Yeah. Uh mm-hmm. it was supposed to be a rapid fire Let's where see. each of us asked the other five questions. Yeah. So, Neeti, do you want to go first? Sure. With, no, do I ask first? Yeah. Sure. I I we are well prepared guys. We have our Yeah, we have our notes. Uh questions. Oh my god, I think I emergency called someone. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I I have them. Let's So, I have to answer them in one word or like how? I mean it depends on the question you can't answer all of them in one word okay. I wasn't very competent to just sure. have one word questions it's one line then Yeah one line Okay Okay are you ready Sean I am ready So uh, this is coffee with Karan Karan uh, we, <laughs> this is fully inspired if you uh, Karan if you're watching yeah. uh, <laughs> we this is uh, an inspiration that we've taken and yeah. like you know inspiration you also have to give a hamper like okay. we, yeah. either of us if, if the person wins um okay. as so you can be the jury and tell who deserves the hamper um the and what should section. be in the hamper yeah please tell um and make me win guys okay okay are you ready yeah can, you, you, you see like uh, he says can we have the jaqua lights yeah, on no, please yeah, turn on the jaqua lights and then it dims yeah something. it's it's beautiful Okay, we have the Jaguar lights. Just imagine. Okay. <laughs> okay, first question. Weirdest thing you've seen in college? Answer carefully. Okay, I'm not. It's not the weirdest thing I've seen. It's the weirdest thing I've done. Okay. Oh. On first day of college, I was so excited, hyper energized. Lockdown, no classes before that for yeah. a year. The first thing I did, there's a tree near the. Yeah. The, near the library yeah. or the co-op ka entry ha uh-huh, okay i climbed that <laughs> you sanu ki sanu ki climbed that tree <laughs> and then that is weird and then my <laughs> my seniors in d street or something they were like what the hell are you doing you <laughs> just randomly climbing trees yeah. wow so i think for them it might have been weird yeah mm-hmm. it is for me too okay <laughs> but it's what are, what are you trying to do to you I can just imagine you just randomly climbing. So I tree. believe, like when you climb higher, you get a better vantage point and perspective on life. So I wanted to look down and see Lovely. life from a different lens. Wow! Yeah. See an essay, like answer given by a true essay writer. Yeah. That's my essay. Okay, <laughs> and my next Harvard application. <laughs> Take me in, because I can see things <laughs> from a tree perspective. <laughs> <laughs> okay, second. Okay. If you could have dinner with any person in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? It's a rapid fire. They are watching. Okay. Okay, I don't know. I I like to have dinner with Jesus. Oh. I mean, I was thinking more spiritual because Wow. I feel if you have any discussion with any like religious leader or person that would Damn. be something That is actually a cool answer. Yeah. I I wouldn't have thought of that. Mm-hmm. Okay, very very well. I must say okay. third, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? And you can also answer what would you do with that? Like <laughs> would you do something scandalous? <laughs> <laughs> so, there's always that meme if It, you know that person who chooses their superpower to be invisibility what yeah. they think <laughs> so i'm not going to go with invisibility Smart answer. <laughs> i'd say i like to read people's minds so That's that even more. <laughs> no so that next interview i have i can actually clear it <laughs> wow that's yeah that that can, that is helpful yeah. see again you've given a very sr specific answer so i don't know if you get points for that okay. or you get okay. your points get deducted but anyways It's it will be fun. Next, what's the craziest dream you have had? Should I go with a cliche SRC answer? Sure, that's what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. See, <laughs> coffee with current true rapid fire is that you give very scandalous answers and not safe right. choices. In twelfth grade. 
Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. We are back. Yeah. Yes. So, next rapid fire question. Yes, the last question is what is the best piece of advice you've ever got? Very nice. Don't So this is from my Karnika partner interview. Ooh. He told me don't think of people as how much benefit you can get from them. Instead of you view them as who they actually are and you find life to be a lot more fulfilling. Five marks for that thank answer. You, thank you, Full thank marks. You. Okay. Brilliant. So coming to my rapid fire questions, Oof. they are more one word questions, okay? Okay. Perfect. Go so ahead. if you had to go to jail for any one crime, what crime would it be and why? Um uh not following the traffic lights no, rules. No, that's too boring, man. That, how is that boring? I I can't say oh I'm killed some man or something like that. <laughs> you can take inspiration from the people you met. Definitely super inspiring people have met. Okay. But yeah, I mean by mistake if I steal something, that can happen guys. That's a So you haven't stolen anything before? I don't remember particularly what <laughs> I don't think so. You've never tried your hand at like shoplifting. No, that I've never done. I, what I've done is either I'm going in a shop, I'll forget the thing, okay. or I'll forget to pay, mm. or something weird happens. Mm. But I, I forget my phone. But I've not tried to shoplift. Sean, tell you give your answer for this. So in school, I I wanted to see the experience, you know, try it out. So I think I went to the shop, and there weren't any cameras or anything. I checked. <laughs> Tips. Uh, and then this is the different I, segment. I was really hungry for a milky bar at that point of time. Aww, and then I opened the fridge, took it, and I put it in my pocket. And then I, I, I bought something else, but I didn't pay. It. So it was like a buy one get one yeah, free. Yeah. Okay. You know? Got so, it. Yeah, that, that's that's my not that bad. Justification. <laughs> okay. okay. Next question. Hmm. Which is your favorite movie that you've seen, and why? My favorite movie is a movie called The Intern. Oh. I I don't know if you've seen that Robert De Niro. Yes, I love him and of course Anne Hathaway, and it's just stuck with me so much. I don't know why, but it it is one of my favorite movies. Honestly, it's very difficult to just put one name, um, but I really love that movie so much. It's very hmm. should I give an explanation on that? No. I, yeah. I mean, or even Ye Jawani Ye Jawani. So a, a Bollywood Hollywood version yeah. for you. Two answers. Yeah. Extra <laughs> points for that. <laughs> okay. Next question now. If there was one book by an author that you had to study for in DU, which one would it be, and why? Or like, if you, what's Ooh. the best tip you can give for clearing any BCom honors exam? Oh, like an actual author book. I was no, 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 any, any book for clearing DU exams. Yeah. Dude, Shivdas. Shivdas, bro. Sir, <laughs> Shivdas. <laughs> that Sir, guy. Sir, you have our life. Sudharli, Savarli, whatever. But do that. That is a very good kunji, you know. Um, just a la- one night uh, guide to getting good marks and hmm. grades in DU. I My think parents used to call them dukkis at that time. Oh. So. Don't know. Yeah, they keep on changing, coming in different ways. Yeah. But, but it's don't you think Shivda should be illegal, <laughs> technically, from an exam standpoint, because it's everything summarized. Dude, no. Oh, I mean, yeah. we, honestly, need, we need whatever no. we can and, get. And if you think about it, so it's just that the paper pattern is like that, hmm. uh, like view that it's yeah. actually from Shivdas. It happens hmm. so, but like the concept of ten hills has been from hmm. a real long time, even in twelfth and boards and yeah. everything. So no, okay. Shivdas should not be illegal. I'll fight for that till my life. Okay. Okay. Next question. Rank the top five societies in SRCC. And keep in mind, uh, you have a lot of friends who have been part of various cabinets. If you're not from SRCC, you don't know how scandalous this question can be. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, first, of course, I don't have to think about this. Okay. Inactus, okay. for sure. Right. Um, and this is a disclaimer based on just from what I've observed, okay. not my personal experience. I don't know. Or from my personal experience, actually, just from what we've seen, um, I, then would be I think um, EcoSoc, mm-hmm. based on the work that they do. Third, placement cell, yeah. I think very yeah. crucial, crucial to society, uh, to our college. Um, then I would say, um, 
uh, I know what uh, you're pointing at. <laughs> I, I would actually say Comsoc. Okay. It's Shivam College of Commerce, guys, and okay. it's a resource. It's been since the beginning of everything. I think. Thank you. And especially the work, honestly, like the work you've done since the past year, since like your cabinet, it has been phenomenal. I've pe- seen people come up to me and be like. Oh, this event is organized by Comsoc. This is so great, and actually, thank you. Um, it's it's been brilliant. And then I last, I would say, I already did Comsoc. So I wouldn't say like Fana. I I think Dram, Dram has a lot of hype uh, from our college, and I I've not experienced it personally, yeah. so I can't really comment. But based on the like fest and everything that they organize, it's super fun. Like mm-hmm. meeting actors and actresses, yeah. and so based on that, super fun. Yeah. Nice. That was nice, yeah. So that wraps up my rapid fire. I think you did a commendable job, Neeti. Thank you so your much. Your answers were honest and had your true personality with them. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate yours yeah. too. Thank you. But I, I want to win yeah. the hamper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, I think we've covered a lot of topics. Yeah. And I really learned a lot from your conversation. With oh my you. God! <laughs> and Likewise. Loved your stories, by the way, <laughs> about murderers in actors. Travel and what not in between, so definitely I had a lot of fun and I yeah. think you did not speak much. I I only talk. That is <laughs> that's a problem, guys. But I had a lot of fun discussing all these topics yeah. with you and you're a brilliant host, Sean. Thank you. You can do Thank this. You. Thank you. <laughs> so with that, we come to the end of this podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in and we hope you found learning through this. Yes. Or आपकी ज्ञान इससे बढ़ना चाहिए. <laughs> if if that is good, please appreciate Sean in the comments, guys. Yeah, thanks. You did well. Thank, Thank you. you. With that, bye, guys. Bye, bye. bye.